we're logged into Moodle and we're going to set up a forum within one of the Moodle courses. So I'm going to hover over to the left here to the navigation and I'm going to use that in order to quickly get to my course. There we go. So I'm going to click on my courses and choose one of my courses to add a forum to. Now in order to make any changes in my course, I need first to turn editing on. So I click the turn editing on button. That button will only be there if you have editing rights on the course. To find a forum as an activity, I need to choose the add an activity box. And what you'll see as you scroll down here is a collection of different activities that you can have in your course. So I'm going to click on the forum and now you'll see a new page appearing. Let's just scroll that up. If I'm creating a forum, there are several different types of fora available to me in, more in, in Moodle. And here you can see if you click on the little yellow um, button with the question mark, that explains all the different types of fora there are so you can choose which type you want to create before you start. So a little bit of investigation and thinking about the types of interaction that you want to have. For everything that you add as a resource in Moodle, you'll also always have to give it a name and uh, some form of introduction or set, set up. So let's just call this demo and um, okay, give it a description. Again, we've got we can make that description with voice authoring if we want to. We can we can have a spoken message as part of the setup of the forum activity. And again, just click on the little loudspeaker icon to do that. Record your message and then insert. When you press the little red record button, check that the level's going up and down here according to your voice. If it isn't, you need to sort out your microphone settings. OK, I will cancel that for now, but it's quite a simple thing to add voice uh, in your fora. And once you've got everything ready and you're happy with it, you've got a few other options that you might choose. One of the important ones to check is if you really want everybody to participate, you need to force subscription to your forum. That way, when there's activity, everybody will be notified of that activity. Um, you may want to look at the number of attachments, the maximum number of attachments. But these are optional features. And then at the end, of the page, if I scroll right down, sorry this is going to be updating and the screen will look strange, but if I scroll right down, you can see I've got save and return to the course or save and display. You can use either. I'm going to save and display so that I can quickly see where my forum is. And there it is. There's my forum. There's the uh, description as the starting point. And this is where I can add new discussion topics. And if I come back to the course level, and back into the course itself. There's my forum here. These little faces looking at each other indicate a forum. And there's my demo forum. So if I now turn the editing off, and I'll click on it as a student may do for the first time to see it, and when they want to add a discussion topic, they will see this very familiar, I hope, set of um, editing tools, text editing tools. This is a text editor where they can reply on the forum with their voice or they can type into the box or they can insert an image or they could use a mixture of all three so you can have a really lively um, forum going on and lots of interesting things happening. <laughs>